Good morning, my fine friends of the internet. How are y'all doing today? We're here in Edmonton, Alberta, and I got the AC cranked. Can't even hear myself think. It's hot. Then again, it depends where you're from. To me, this is hot. What is it outside right now? It's probably like, it's hot. Let's just trust me. Those Canadians kind of melting here. I might even get a tan today. Oh my. So we're uh, picking up this load. It's a big tank. It's not a military tank. It's uh, like a storage tank, petroleum tank or something. But I gotta go to the other side of Edmonton right now and pick it up. It's gonna be an OD load over dimension and it's going down to Wisconsin. Apparently there's two of us that are going down there. I didn't know this until just now. I got a call from the office back there. He's like, hey, how are you guys making out? I'm like, oh, we're doing fine. I thought she was like talking about me and my dog. She's like, oh yeah, it's, have you met the other guy there already? Other guy? There's another one? So there's two of us. I don't know, I'm not really the big kind of guy on running convoy, especially with people I don't know. I don't have a CB in my truck anyway. But uh, we'll probably just go our own pace and stuff. Doesn't matter to me. I'm tired, I'm still trying to wake up. I know it's afternoon already, but uh, my delivery appointment, or my pickup appointment is in 45 minutes at 2.30 in the afternoon. I slept as long as I could so I can drive as long as I could today. But again, I don't want to drive till six in the morning. It just messes up my whole sleep schedule. So we'll see what happens. Let's go get our load, see what it looks like, I'm curious. Getting close to the pickup here. Just in uh, the southeast side of Edmonton. Not too sure what to expect when I get there. I'm hoping it's gonna be uh, I hope it's gonna be an easy thing to tie down. If it's just a big tank, you would think so. It depends how heavy the tank is though, right? Because it is oversized. What do you think, Diesel? Are you gonna help me? Can you help me tie it down? Look at him. Are you kidding me? I don't got thumbs, man. You got a yield sign, buddy. You have a yield sign. I don't. Okay, thought he was gonna go right through and hit me. Is this it? Oh, oh, that's a bump. That is a bump right there in the road. Oh, here's some more, here's some more. Oh, all right, okay. This is actually what I'm hauling here. Not the tank I was hoping for, but <laughs> I think it's this one. Cause that one looks too long. It's only supposed to be 36 feet long. That looks about 36 feet, right? It's supposed to be able to fit it on the bottom, uh, bottom step of my deck. Whatever you want to call it. The, the lower bed, the lower of the step, flat bed. You know what I mean? You'll see. So I gotta turn around and go the other way. It's interesting. It's going to be pretty easy to tie that down. Oh yeah. That'll be nice. This one's a really long one here. That's not mine. It'll be that one there. Going all the way down to Wisconsin with it. Oh, we got some bumpiness here. Look at these bumps right here. Oh my. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm going to drag my trailer over them. There we go. Nice and slow. There we go. They want me facing this way. So this way I shall face. I'm not sure exactly how they want me here. I want to leave enough room in there that they can get through there with the tractor. Okay, I think that's good. Safety first, right? I'm not sure if I'll have to wear a hard hat yet or not, probably. Because I'm guessing they're gonna use some kind of crane to lift that up, right? And if there's a crane involved, that means there's hard hats involved. But they're all on break right now. I'll ask them as soon as they come out. 
So if this is what I'm actually picking up, I'm not 100% sure yet, but like I said, it's supposed to be a 36 foot piece. That looks like 36 feet and those other two are way too long. Cool. Also it does have some steel up in there. I wonder how heavy this thing is. Once I see the paperwork and again, once they get out here, I'll be able to tell what kind of securement I'm gonna need on this. You don't want that rolling off the side of your trailer. I'm telling you. How do you explain that to the insurance company? I was driving down the road and uh, a tank fell on me. Just reading on the side here, this tank holds 75,000 liters. So neither of those tanks, <laughs> that tank wasn't mine either, where he's leading me to where it is. I don't know if I'm getting loaded by that crane, but apparently where we're going, there's a crane, so... Guess we'll wait and see. I'm going for it. All right, we're all loaded up, flagged, and ready to go. Just gotta turn on the beacons yet. Here's what we're working with. Big old tank, 12,000 gallon tank. Oh wait, this side said 12,000. Yeah, 12,000 gallons. Huh, all right. I thought the other side said 8,000 gallons. So maybe there's two tanks in here. There's like a divide in the middle maybe. I'm pretty sure this side said 8,000. Yeah, this side says 8,000 gallons. Huh. Okay, so 12,000 on that side, 8,000 on this side. What is that all together? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20,000 gallons you can fit in this thing. But it's empty right now. So it only weighs 10,000 pounds. Super light load. We're all ready to go here. There's a ton of these here, eh? Like, look at all this. Look at all this. So apparently, uh, I've got all my permits for Canada, through Alberta here, through Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. Uh, we got blanket permits in Alberta and uh, Manitoba, but I just got my permit. Uh, what do you call it? It just came through for Saskatchewan, but unfortunately my US permits, I'll need one for North Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. They're only gonna come through on Monday. They, uh, they're gone for the day already, and they don't work on the weekends down there, I guess. So first thing Monday morning, I'll be leaving with this. Wisconsin. So let's go home for the weekend. 14 hours of driving ahead of us. We're about a half hour from Saskatoon. That's where I'm gonna be stopping for the night. This way you can get going around 8 a.m. tomorrow. And then make it home tomorrow evening. Like I said, the US permits won't be ready for me until Monday morning, so I'll get a nice reset in at home and then continue on to Wisconsin. And I have a delivery appointment for Tuesday. Oh, I'm tired. I'm parking for the night. I'm actually parked at the scale just west of Saskatoon. Figured it might be quieter here. I didn't need to be at the truck stop tonight or whatnot. I'm, I'm just stopping for eight hours. So it's about 11 p.m. here mountain time. That's midnight central time. I like to stop at midnight or before if I can, because in Canada, if I drive an hour past midnight on my home terminal time, which would be uh, to drive to 1 a.m., that means I have one less hour I can drive when I wake up until after midnight the next day. Because I can only drive 13 hours from midnight to midnight on every day 
according to my uh, home terminal time clock. So this way, I can still have my full day to drive and I'm sort of on a better schedule. So I'll be up at 7 a.m. here Mountain Time, 8 a.m. back home. And it's nine hours. Nine hours and we'll be back home. And I'm going straight to bed. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Do not edit videos. Do not surf Facebook. Stra okay, maybe face Facebook a little bit. I'll probably surf Facebook a little bit. Surf Facebook, is that a term? I will surf Facebook. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. You want to say goodnight to the weasel? You want to say, he wants to say goodnight to you. Jeez, oh. It's bedtime, man. You made a mess back there. Or was that me? That was probably me. You ate one bowl of food today. I was so proud of you. You need to start eating more again, though, man. You're losing weight again. All right? Want to say goodnight to everybody? <laughs> good night, guys. Have a good sleep. All right. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make a new video most every day. Uh, if you really like my videos, you can hit the, the little bell beside the subscribe button as well. That way you'll get a notification whenever it comes on the internet. Because it's a different time every day, unfortunately. So if you hit the bell, then at least you'll be able to be in the loop and know when it's on the internet. And then decide when you want to watch it. Or if you want to watch it. Or if you want to ignore it. Go down below to the comment section. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what I could do better. Let me know what you would like to see more of in my vlogs. Go down there and share your thoughts. That's what the comment section is for. See you guys tomorrow. Going home tomorrow.